Moving licenses and plugins to another computer should not require a rocket scientist to perform this process. Companies creating these installation programs should ensure that it's easy and intuitive because you only perform this once in a blue moon. In this video, I'll be showing you step by step how to move WAVE licenses and legacy plugins to a new computer. And I can tell you as an IT professional, it was not easy nor intuitive. If you find this video informative, please subscribe to help my little channel. Thanks. From the new computer, download and install the latest WAVE Central application. Log in with your account and select Licenses. Under Connected Devices, local disk C forward slash, meaning my new PC, shows one license. That one license is Studio Rack 14.0 and it's free. Under Disconnected Devices, local disk C forward slash, meaning my old PC, shows five licenses which are my legacy plugins. Select Install Products. Only one plugin is activated, Studio Rack, shown with a check mark, go ahead and install it. No, this is where it gets confusing. It's shown it has been installed, but you're prompted to install a studio rack again. Select Licenses. Under Disconnected Devices, select your old PC and deactivate and recover the plugins from your old PC. Verify plugins are deactivated from old PC.
select licenses. Under connected devices, select your new PC and rename it with your PC's name, ELPW. At this point, I was wondering what's going to happen. Clicking on Install Products, nothing really changed. Clicking back on Licenses, six licenses appeared under Connected Devices. Selecting Install Products again, Show Plugins are activated, this time located in the new PC. To install legacy version 9 plugins, download and install version 9.99 plugins and apps. Run its own Wave Central application as shown. Click on Install Products from Offline Installer and select Waves 24.5.18 folder. Then install your desired legacy plugin.
Run Reaper, click on FX as shown, and verify Waves plugins are installed.